Hi guys, welcome to part three of creating the skin for this house. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jump back over to the internet and we're gonna grab this wood layer again. We're going to copy it and then we're gonna paste it. Now let's grab a piece out of the sky that's shaped like a doorway. It's probably a good size, so we'll go Control X and then we can delete that layer and we'll paste our selection back in and let's bring this guy behind everything, like so. And we're going to zoom in a little bit too much. And then using the transform tool, which is Command T or Control T, then we're going to use our distort tool. And we're going to line this guy up with our door. just like so. And then just make sure that these lines are lining up with the bricks. All right, great. Now we want to select that layer and create a hue and saturation layer for it and we're going to bring down the darkness to about there. Sweet. One more thing we want to do to that doorway is we want to add a shadow that's being cast by this top edge of the doorway. So using our brush tool with a soft edge and we want it a very large size and then we're going to create a new layer above our house layer and we're just going to paint something like that. Then using our lasso tool, we're going to cut away the unwanted areas. But what we're doing is we're selecting the shape of the door. And then we're going to go around the outside of it, like so. And we can delete that area away. Now we want to bring down the opacity on this layer. to about 60%. Cool, looks good. Now the last thing we wanna do on this house is we wanna add a cool shadow and a warm light to it, and that will make it really look realistic. And the way we'll do that is we'll create a new layer and then we'll select the shape of our house. Next, we're going to use this color blue and it's just a completely saturated blue. And we're going to paint in all of the shadow areas very quickly. Like so, including over here, because this is part of the shadow area also. And it doesn't have to be 100% perfect, we just want to make sure that majority of the shadow area is covered in blue. And we also want to get up here underneath the roof. Great, now that we've done that, we can go ahead and switch over to the color yellow and we're also gonna be using a completely saturated yellow. And we're going to fill in all of the areas that are being hit by the light. Oops. Make sure that you don't go over this blue up here. All right, so this is probably looking pretty funny looking but you'll see if we come up to our layers and we put our layer on overlay, it looks a little bit better. But what we need to do is we need to bring down the opacity to about 15%. And now you'll see that it looks much, much better. It looks like the sun is hitting it. You'll see the difference when I turn off the layer. It looks much more realistic with the warm and cool light overlay. So now we'll do that to our roof. 
So we'll select our roof shape and then we'll add a new layer above it and make sure that you're doing this warm and cool light on a second layer, otherwise it's not gonna work. So we'll start off with the color yellow. And then for this roof, it's a mix between shadow and light. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a mix of blue and yellow, which would be green. So we're just gonna choose a color green and we're just gonna fill in the whole top part of our roof with green. Then we'll fill these sides in with blue. All right, now let's put that layer on overlay and bring down the opacity to about 15% there. Looks freaking awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed these three videos on how to create the skin of this house. If you did, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and I'll be bringing you many more videos just like this one. My name's Jason and have a great life.